What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, check out the team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today, we are rocking out with a weakness policy Zygarde team that features Ninjask and the most underrated Ultra Beast in the game, which is Buzzwell. If you guys are hyped for today's video or just want to support me as a content creator, make sure you like up today's video. It really does go a long way. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. I promise you guys, plenty more Pokemon content coming along the way and more Nintendo content down the road when bigger games come out, such as like Mario, Legend of Zelda, all that good stuff. Trust me, I'll be doing playthroughs on that and guides on all the Pokemon and Nintendo stuff. But getting started with this team, we have Ninjask over here, who is a very underrated not used a lot pokemon over here we got the speed boost ability so at the end of every single turn we get a speed boost and then we have the focus sash on this pokemon and i'll explain why the focus sash on this pokemon in just a second move set is swords dance protect bat and pass and dual wing beat so what bat and pass does is it swaps out and gives whatever pokemon we swap into all of his stats so say we protect turn one and we get a speed boost when we swap into another pokemon using bat and pass they will have that exact same speed boost on them so, the reason we have the Focus Sash is we can potentially Swords Dance, use our Focus Sash, get our Speed Boost at the end of the turn, so that will be plus two on attack and plus one on speed. So, chances are we'll be able to outspeed most Pokemon. Then we can Bat and Pass, say, into Zygarde, who's a heavy physical attacker, give him all those stats, and have that Pokemon absolutely dominate. So, cannot wait to show up in Ninjas. Such a cool Pokemon all around. Right next to him is that Zygarde on the team with the Power Construct ability, the Weakness Policy item. His moveset has Coil to set up, Protect, then we have Thousand Arrows and Thousand Waves for both our stab moves. Middle left is going to be the top of Finny, rocking out with that Misty Surge so we can have Surge Control and protect us from any status conditions like burns and all that good stuff. Wiki Berry adds its item, Moon Blast to protect, Heal Pulse to heal ally Pokemon, and Nature's Madness for our final move. Right next to her is going to be the one and only Sylveon. I love this Eeveelution. I think it's so good, and I think it's very underrated in doubles. I think it could be better, but I just think it rocks out super, super well in the past seasons. But I think it's still decent in this season right here. But Pixelate ability, but Beery Berry as an item so we can soak up a Steel Shot. We got Quick Attack, Hyper Voice, Protect, and Helping Hand for this amazing moveset on a Sylveon. Bottom left corner is going to be the one and only instant or absolute beast in this meta. Gotta love this Pokemon. Super, super strong and just super meta. Intimidate, Citrus Berry, everything is normal for this Pokemon. Items, moves, uh, ability. We got the moves of Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Dark Slayer, and you turn just everything is so perfect for this Pokemon. It is hard not to put them on a team. Final Pokemon is going to be this Buzzwool over here, and I love this Pokemon. I use him like maybe twice on the ranked double ladder, and he just hits hard. I just think he's all around great Pokemon. He has the Beast Boost ability, Assault Vest as his item, and then he has Leech Life, Close Combat, Drain Punch, and Ice Punch for its moveset. Just love the versatility you can use with him. The Bug and Fighting type is very, very cool, and it's just off meta and super fun to use. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this weakness policy Zygarde, Ninjask, and Buzzsaw team. I got a great question of the day to get this video started. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below, would you guys like to see me play other trainers' teams on the ranked double ladder? And what I mean by that is, like, you guys know Cynthia from Diamond and Pearl and, like, Leon from this game. Would you guys like to see me use teams that are replicated for their team. So like Cynthia, I would use like Lucario, Spiritomb, just all the same Pokemon that she used. And same thing with Leon. There's just so many different trainers I can use. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. Also, I would need help. So if you guys want to see that and you guys want to make me trainers team, such as like Leon, Cynthia, Blue from uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, let me know if you guys want to make them in the comment section down below. Seriously, send me their rental codes. Send me all that good stuff because I would absolutely love to start a series on that. Just using different trainers teams. That can be super, super fun and all around cool content for the channel. But we're hopping into our first battle. Going up against a Groudon team that features Celestia, uh, Faramosa, Intimidate, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and the NDD. Okay, how do I want to go into this one? I think I can potentially Sword Sands. I mean, he might just go straight for a... Uh, he might go straight for a... What's called? Ooh, low battery. i go straight for a Faramosa. I just want to go, I could go Ninjask. Ninjask into Incineroar, have Zygarde in the back, and the final Pokemon could rock out with Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini could be really good here. I could go Buzzwool. I do like Buzzwool. Oh, yeah, let's wrap up with Buzzwool. Let's get him rolling in here. Hit that thumb button. Let me let me grab something real quick. Where's it at? Gotta grab my charger, yo. A little battery. Always got the little battery, man. Actually, the, the, uh, the Switch controllers actually do really, really well. Like, I'll charge it now, and then probably for like a good week or two, it will be full. And like, I, I play a decent amount. Like, I'd be playing Unite. I'd be playing Recording every day for you guys. Like, I can play a decent amount. So, these controllers absolutely rock out. Battery life is awesome. 
He's gonna go into these two guys. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. We're gonna fake out onto his Incineroar. Uh, what do I think he's gonna do here? What do I think he's gonna do? I'm gonna definitely... I'm totally trying to Swords Dance up here. I'm definitely trying to Swords Dance up. Then I could potentially protect, get another speed boost, kind of go from there. We still have our Focus Ash. Hmm. This big old attack. Oh, dude, that's an attack drop. That's rough. That's rough on our ninjas, because we're going to swap and give them the stats here. Tough news. Okay. With that said, let's go into the fake out. Bang. And then just uh, just sword stance here. Let's just sword stance. We are minus one, but we can go up plus one, which could be good. I have something in my eye, man. I don't know what it is, but I think I just got it. I think I just got it, yo. You guys probably wonder, like, yo, jeez, what are you doing to your eye? You're just, like, reaching over, clawing into it. Yeah, I had something in it. I had something in it. But, yo, this team's going to be so much fun. This team's going to be so much fun to use. But seriously, guys, let me know for question of the day, because I would love for you guys to make me teams like that. Like, we can do... I already did red on the channel, but I can do it again. That was a while ago. We can do blue. He has a super cool team. We can do Cynthia. We can do Leon. We can do, like, all the champions. Be super, super cool. But he's going to end up protecting the top of Finny, which is great. Does my fake out come out first? Please tell me it does. And it does. Yeah, that's just dandy. That is awesome. And I could just go into another... Uh... I could go into another Swords Dance, but I'm thinking of just protecting here. And maybe just you turning out. What do I want to do? There's all this. He might come after me now. Which is definitely a possibility. I think I might just protect and bat and pass next turn. Maybe just U-turn out. Because who do I have? I don't want to U-turn into Zygon. I'd rather U-turn into like Buswell. That would definitely be my play. Right, I'm going to drop a nice lovely little U-turn here. Get back a little bit. Go into you. And then just, uh, just protect you. Definitely would love the Sword Stance again. But... He's trying. He's probably gonna go into a flare blitz onto me. I don't want him to go flare blitz, muddy water, take me out of my sash and do that, and take me out. I'd rather play it smart, get that extra speed boost, and then just bat and pass out of here. Moonblast coming in hot. Block. Get out of my face. Is he flare blitzing into me as well? He might. He might be flare blitzing into me as well. I can totally see that happening. I can totally see that happening. Me posing such a big threat here. But now I get out my main man, Buswell. Buswell looking good, man, and he's pretty fast. He's pretty fast, so we gotta love it. So we have to love it. We gotta love it. Look how big dude. This dude joked. This dude joked. And he doubles down into ninja. Yeah, dude. That's such a huge turn. That is such a huge turn. So we get this. I can't drop a close combat. Potentially pick up the KO here. But I am going to go into... What do I want to do? I could leap slide. Green punch could be good. I think close combat could just take that thing out. We could get beast boost. But I don't want my defense to drop. You know? I really don't want my defense to drop. So I'm just going to... Uh... Good bat and pass out. Proc weak as possible, but super tough if he goes into a moon blessing man. I'm still gonna go for that. I'm gonna bat and pass out of here. We dipping, baby. We dipping. And we're gonna go for this, uh. And we're gonna go for the side guard out here. I can get the side guard out here. That could be lovely. That could be lovely. Side guard coming out here. No weakness policy on this thing. We bat and pass out. We're gonna be plus two on speed and plus one on attack, which is great. And what's he gonna go for? Drain punch gonna fly through it. Can this KO? Well, show me this good KO. My man, Buswell, dude. Buswell looking good. So this is good on both ends. Considering this thing's gonna get the beast boost, it's gonna get the attack boost, which is huge. They're pretty much set up on both sides. As long as my Zygarde is able to eat this moon blast. Okay, cool. He goes for a straight muddy water. And Zygarde dodged. Yo, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. You gotta love it. So I think he wanted to go into a uh I think he really wanted to go into a uh, Flare Blitz, into Muddy Water, into the Ninjas. I think that was definitely his play, but Buswell was able to just drain punch that thing, take it out. Now he's sitting plus one on attack. We have our Zygarde set up pretty well at plus two speed and plus one on attack board. Yeah, we love it. We loving it. Faramosa is going to fly through here. Who's looking a little tough? I ain't going to lie. Looking a little tough. I could Ice Punch. Ice Punch might be my best bet. I do have Leech Life and uh, Close Combat, but both of them are not very effective. So, Ice Punch is definitely your best bet. Let's go into the Faramos here. I'm guessing it's Sash, and I could just Thousand Arrows. What's the difference between these two? I know this one knocks down Pokemon, and what does this do? These are attacks with the wave that crawls along the ground. Those who hit cannot flee from battle. So, do we really want these guys fleeing from battle? I mean, this would be better anyway. This would probably be our best bet anyway. So, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to Ice Punch onto the Faramos. It is very squishy, but maybe we can deal enough damage to take it out. But let's see how this one plays out here. I'm gonna just protect the Faramosa. I'm cool with that. I think a Moonblast is gonna fly through here. Let's see. Thousand Waves comes through. And I'm actually hoping he that or Moonblast onto my Zygarde. But Zygarde could potentially eat that up. I could have actually coiled set up. That could have been a play all day. That could have been a great play. But we chip away some damage. These guys cannot escape. Ice Punch is gonna fly through it and take a big block. Okay. 
That's gonna, it's just gonna go straight for Moonblast, and he going after. Let me go after Zygon. Just trigger my weakest policy all day. Trigger my policy all day. He does get a special attack job, but policy is going to proc, and I wonder if we can outspeed. I wonder if a plus two Zygarde can outspeed. Because if we can, oh yo, and we power constructing. Oh lord, oh lord, dude. What a start, what a start. Let's get after it, let's rip it. Let's get after it. Power construct coming out here, yo, look at our HP go up. We're up to 170 now. And look at our stats, yo. Look at our stats, not Buzzwole, he's plus one. Look at those stats, dude. Look at those stats, yo. Misty Terrain ends very, very soon. Um, Ice Punch is just going to fly again. I think we're just going to uh, yet another thousand. I could protect, but nah, yo, let's go into a thousand. Let's go into a thousand ways. I really don't see Fire Moses being able to take me out. He's gonna protect the top of Finny. That's totally fine with me. That is all good. That is all good, man. A thousand waves come through. We're gonna chip up onto this Fire Moses. How much damage can we do on this thing? How much damage can we do? Yo, Psycho ripping with the bat and pass. Ripping, baby. Yo, yes, sir. Getting some big damage. Bus will outspeed. Bus will does not outspeed. Triple Axel might take us out. It might take us out. Only hit twice. Only hit twice. Stop it. And it hits all three times. Okay, so he's gone. I'm cool with that. Bus is going to be able to fly through here. Finish off this Faramosa and get another plus one on the attack board. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. This thing's going to get the beast boost. That's totally fine because you're dead. This Bus will come in hot with a nice punch. Yo, yo, dude, I love Buzzfuls animation because he's just absolutely yoked. And when he punches, yo, he just leans back into it and throws a big haymaker at you. But there's a nice little beast boost there. I know that he outspeeds the top of Finny. At least life could be good because I can get HP back and it is sad. And I wonder who his last Pokemon is. Are we going to Ninjask here? I think I go into Incineroar. I think Incineroar might be the player. here. I could go into Ninjask. What would Ninjas really do? We do have dual wing beat on him. <laughs> He's kind of just chilling there. But I think Incineroar is definitely the play. Incineroar is definitely the play here. Just in case he throws out a physical attacker. Such as Groudon. We can pick that out as well. And how do I how do I play this one? How do I play this one? So he brings out the drought. It could protect the Finny. But I want to see uh Bus Hole speed. I really do want to see Bus Holes. I really, really want to see Bus Holes. See this thing speed. We do have the assault vessel on today. Uh, let's see this thing. 131. I don't think that's how it's speeding the ground on. Do I have to fake out a ground on? You have ice punch. Ice punch can rip on plus two. Do I double down into that? I know Top of Finny cannot protect, but what is Top of Finny really gonna do with the drought? Nothing really. So I'm gonna double down on the ground on. He might protect. Let's see. I know Top of Finny can't protect. So maybe I should just double down on her, but I'm hoping the ground on goes for maybe like a blade or something. We just start chipping on this thing. Yes, sir. Let's go. Big old fake out. Flinch coming out here. We should be able to outspeed, and this might be able to take him out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Get him out of here. Ooh, yo, that's rough. That's rough. That's really rough there. Moonblast going to fly through here. Can we eat that? Can we eat this? Oh, yo. Bus will down. Dude, that's so rough. That is so rough. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of how we're going to win this one. I'm trying to think of how we're going to win this one. That Ice Punch did not take out on plus two, man. And we played so good, too. We played so good, but it's just not looking good for us. Uh, dual Wing Beat is a must. We have to pick up a KO doing something with that. And then, oh, I guess Darkest Layer is going to have to come out here. I mean, wait a minute. What's called out speed? What's your speed, Ninjas? Show me your flying. Show me your flying. How fast are you? Oh, my God, yes. He's flying. This dude's quick. This dude's flying. Get this thing with a Darkest Layer. I mean, is Dark Slayer your best bet, or do we just U-turn? No, Dark Slayer is our best bet here. Actually, Flare was probably your best bet. In the drought. Let's rip it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Dual Wing Beat flies through. Ninjas coming in clutch, baby. Ninjas doing everybody dirty. Flare Blitz is going to do more damage than all the other moves that Incineroar has, considering it what's called. It's in the drought. So he's going to hit me with that. That actually neglects a lot of the damage. And we're thriving here. We're thriving here. He does get the Act Drop. Well, I don't like that one bit. It's an axe drop on me. Flare Blitz is going to fly. How much damage are we going to be able to chip away with that? Not bad. Not bad. That's beautiful. Love it. All right. Dual Wing Beat might be able to pick up the KO here. Oh, never mind. He's got a berry. This dude's ripping with a berry. But yo, Ninja is coming in with that 212 speed. Clutching up. Taking out that ground. Because that was looking tough for us. And I was just like, yo, dude, he can go in the blades. And if he takes out my uh, Incineroar, then he can just start chipping away onto my uh, Ninja. But yo, this thing's flying. It's cooking. Let's go into a Dual Wing Beat here. 
And I guess we'll just go into another Flare Blitz. Again, it's going to do the most damage because of the Drought. Cool Wing Beats fine. And this thing's chipping a good amount of damage. I ain't going to lie. If we can eat the shot up, it's game. Oh, or if we can land our Flare Blitz, I should say. I mean, it should be game regardless because Ninja has outspeeds next turn and the Dual Wing Beat should be able to take it out. And he gets another act drop, dude. Like, oh my god, two. Two of them. There's our Barry, dude. I swear, if we lose because of these accuracy drops, this this Nintendo Switch might be going to the trash can. <laughs> Flare Blitz does connect. Okay, that should be GG's. That should be GG's, right? Yes, sir, yo. What a battle by us, yo. We played this team super, super well. Absolutely love it, yo. Can't believe we got to show it off that good in the first battle. Let's hop into our second and look to go back to back. What a way to get this video started. An amazing first battle showcasing the team pretty much to its fullest potential. We got the Fuzz Soul out in there. We got the Ninja asking the Baton Pass going on with the Zygarde. Just everything worked out perfectly, and we grabbed ourselves a win. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Amoongus, Runarigus, Urshifu, Salazzle, and Galarian Moltres. So I can definitely see Trickering popping out from either the, the Calyrex or the Runarigus. That is definitely an option. I'm trying to think of how I can kind of just like get after this. I could Buzzwall could be solid here. Definitely want to bring Buzzwall. I definitely want to lead instant or such a great lead here. Fake out is a big option. He doesn't have no psychic terrain or serene on this team to stop it. I really do like that. I could go ninjask again. I could definitely go ninjask again, but I don't think I am gonna do that. I think I'm gonna want to uh, grab a Pokemon that can do big damage, such as Buzzwall. I think I'm gonna bring Buzzwall. I think I'm gonna bring Sylveon, and then my final Pokemon is going to be Zygarde. I think Zygarde can just do work here. Let's bring in Zygarde. Let's rip it. Let's set it up. Let's get ourselves a win in battle number two. But yo, dude, that first battle, yo, I absolutely loved it. I was just like, hey, let me get this towards Zance rolling. And it's actually pretty easy to set up, especially with Incineroar and Ninjas. We actually probably could have done it again here. But if he trick rims, then he kind of just counters acts on me. And he can just take me out with the Ice Rider Calyrex, which is definitely scary. So that's why I did not go into it. But it's pretty easy to set up because, like I said, you have the Focus Hashes back out or back up. And then you have the Fake out as uh, just a nice little flinch so you can't die in one turn. So it's just easy setup. You can Swords Dance and then protect the next turn in order to get the second speed boost instantly. Unless Urshfu is out in the field who can hit you protect. But other than that, they're just ripping. It's rocking out pretty well here. But, uh, what's he gonna do here? Do we even go into a, uh, do we even go into a fake out here? Do we even go into a fake out? He might just Rage Powder. He might just Rage Powder. Nice little Intimidate coming out from him. I might just U-turn here, just so I can get off another Intimidate in another second. Do I U-turn? I think I think U-turn should be play. I mean, I really would like to fake out though. I could fake out and go into like a close combat where like a Leech Life could be really good. See how much damage we can do onto this thing. Let's do it. Let's do that. That's gonna be your play. He might protect. Let's see. He's gonna withdraw the Calyx turn. Okay, I'm with it all day. I'm with that turn all day. We go out into the Moltres. The lovely little Moltres. And Amoongus is going to protect. So we just get off a nice little free Leech Life shot. Nice little turn by him. I think that's going to get blocked. Leech Life really ain't going to do all that much. They ain't really going to do all that much. Look at that. Wow. Leech Life. Um, he did a lot more than I expected. A bus will rip him. Trigger Berserk already. Uh, is bus will outspeed? That's the real question. I don't think bus will is going to be able to outspeed. If he hits me with an air move, I ain't going to like that one bit. I think he is going to go into an air move, so I might just swap to Zygarde here for my Buzz Wall. That's actually in Cinnamon Slot, isn't it? It is. So, do I want to go into a Flare Blitz? What do I think is going to be able to take that thing out? Flare Blitz, probably your best bet. we go into a Rage Powder. Which is definitely scary, and we definitely have to swap the Buzz Wall. we go into Sylveon. Sylveon ain't bad here. I do have Hyper Boy, so I can hit through a lot. Yeah, we're going to go into Sylveon here. Just cannot afford going into that, uh... Cannot afford him going into that Air Slash or something onto my Buzz Wall. But I think he does outspeed. It's plus one. It will be four times super effective. And it just it would just double my Buzz Wall. And we really need that Pokemon. This thing is going to Rage Powder. So it was a Rage Powder into, if I had to guess, an Air Slash, right? Yep. There it is. There it is. There she blows. There's that. Where but it's going to fly through here. Chipping away. Hyper Voice is definitely our next move we're gonna rip into. And oh my lord, oh my lord, Flare Blitz getting after it. Getting after it. We might actually go into a quick attack here. But I think quick attack might be able to do it. Might be able to do the damage. I definitely want to get a U-turn out with my uh with my lovely little Incineroar. He's gonna send out the Calyrex. The Calyrex could set up a trick room. He could set up a trick room. And I, again, I definitely want to U-turn out. 
I'm gonna go into the hyper voice and U-turn now. That's the jeans plan. That is the jeans plan. U-turn, do 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 do, over on you. And she's going to a lovely, a lovely little hyper voice here. A lovely hyper voice. But I just don't see that Moltres really taking me out, because Air Slash was probably doing the most damage out of all of his moves. And I think a hyper voice can easily take that thing out. He might set up the trick room, he might go into that. Um, if that's the case, I mean, we just swap back into the center room, we start dropping attack as much as we can. That's going to be a really good battle. going to be a really good battle, but that's what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to be trying to set up a trick room. Ultras goes for the air slash, he's looking for the flinch. So Hyper Voice should definitely be able to come out here, outspeed all that. And we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be able to get rid of the Moltres. We should be able to do some chip damage onto the Calyrex. But Calyrex, oh. Oh. Gino don't like you. Gino do not like you. Jeans does not like, man. All right, so we get that. Uh, who's got to come out here now? Ouch, 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 dude, ouch. Ouch, dude. That hurts. Um, we got to go Buzz Swole. It really don't matter because I'm just going to swap whoever it is into Incineroar. Yeah, that's rough. We do have Quick Attack ready to roll. We're just hoping he doesn't set up a Trick Room. If he doesn't set up a Trick Room, it could be nice. But Sylveon, oh, Sylveon flinched. Of course Sylveon flinched. Of course Sylveon flinched. Okay, right, so he doesn't go into that Trick Room, which is just lovely. So, in that case... In that case, we just swap it to Incineroar here. And we go for that Hyper Dude, because that, that Moltres should be dead here. That Moltres should be dead. I can't believe it. I can't believe we flinched with that air slash. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're going to swap here. God dang, man. What's he going to go for here? What's his plan? What is this dude's plan? What's this dude's plan? Here comes the instant aura. It fake out Ray to Rock. And Intimidate is going to pop. Bring that thing down to plus one because it's weak spots for Rock. And I don't think Moltres can take out my Sylveon if he goes to an air slash. Alex is going to protect. Is he going to go into an air slash in a vessel slot? You can definitely see that happening. We're just double protecting. Goes for the air slash into Incineroar now. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Every voice flies through here. Moltres, thank you. Get out of my game. You're done. Moltres is done. We still have a fake out ready to roll. Of course, Moltres survives, but we have quick attack. We know quick attack for a fact. Could do that. Could take that thing out. Uh, do I use my fake out here? Just chip? Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're just going to drop this quick attack. Then we're just going to drop this quick attack. It's just free damage. It's just free damage, so I might as well go into that. Lovely little fake out here. Playing some nice swaps. We're playing some nice swaps here. And the quick attack is going to fly. See you later, Moltres. Get out of my face. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. And I'm actually surprised that Hyper Voice did not KO. I thought it would. But Calyrex flinches. We got these guys right here. And we also have my Buzz Hole and Zygarde in the back end. So in this case, we has Urge Crew ready to rip. We might drop a Trick Room. And I want... Ooh, I'm just going to quick attack on that thing. He probably outspeeds me, so I think I'm just going to quick attack on that thing. I'm just going to go into a Flare Blitz. I think quick attacks are the best bet. I mean, the real question is... I mean, didn't he just protect? No, he didn't just protect, so he could protect. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go through. I got to play my turn. I might protect that cat, Alex. Does not. So quick attack's going to fly the rear. Just chipping away. Just slowly chipping away. I thought it would do a little bit more than that. And certain Strikes is going to fly through rear. And hopefully he's going after Sylveon. That would be cool if he does. No, Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar dead. The good thing I did go into a quick attack. I kind of want to go into a hyper voice instead, but this works. So, oh, he pops the trick room. There's the trick room. Okay, so now Calyrex is fastest on the field. Calyrex is fastest on the field, and this is not looking good for us. I'm trying to think of how I can kind of get out of this situation. Because as of right now, Urshfu is slowest. We do have this as Soul Fest. If I can get off a Leech Life on that thing, that could be big. That could be super big. I'm not gonna go for it. I mean, you might have Sucker Punch. Actually, no, it's not the Dark type. It's not Dark type. Dude, if I can get off this Leech Life, yeah, we win this game. Uh, let's go for a Quick Attack. Might as well just start chipping. We know that Sylveon is gonna go down here. Or I could help in hand. But I know that's gonna KO if it hits that Calyrex. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? This is tough. This is super tough. I say we just go into a quick attack. We know the Glacial Land is going to fly through here. Look at that flying through here. Just slowly chipping away some damage here. He's going to go. He's going to go for the Lance, right? Yo, Bus will need you here, buddy. Need you here all day. All day. He's plus one. That's going to take you out. This thing's too squishy. That's GG's. That's rough, dude. That is so rough. The Trick Room came out and finished me off, man. 
the trick room came out and finished me off. Dude, Ice Rider Calder, Xiaomi Dirty, but not a bad battle. Not a bad battle. Not a bad battle at all. And Glacial Lance is definitely going to be able to take him out. He's plus three now. He's plus three. I mean, I guess we'll try. I guess we'll try here, but you guys already know the day. All day we're going to try. Unless we somehow eat this up, our policy procs, and then we what's it called? And then we pick up a double KO after we power the trick. That's the only way, right? Only way Glacial Lance comes through here. Eat it up! You know we're not eating it up. It's super effective as well. Later, Skater. Later. We dropped the one and one. We dropped the one and one. We're gonna hop into our third and final battle. Not a bad second battle. I just feel like once that Calder set up the trick room, we knew it was over. But we're hopping into our third and we're looking for that winning record. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final battle coming at you guys. You guys already know we looking for that winning record. And I'm gonna get it for you guys. We're going up against the Zacian team with two Intimidate Pokemon with the Gyarados and the Incineroar. He also has the Moogus for control. And then he has the Landers who hits very, very hard with Shear Force and the Grips and all for support. All right, Jeans. What are we doing here? Definitely need Incineroar. Incineroar is an absolute must with all these physical attackers out in the field. He's an absolute must. I might actually just lead him. He's solid lead. So we're going to lead him up here. Muscle is an absolute beast. I've been loving him. He hits really, really hard. So I might actually use him as a lead. I don't want to do that. I mean, then if Intimidate comes out, then it's just like, uh. I might go on the top of Finny here. Maybe Finny could be solid. Uh, or do I lead Sylveon? Or does Jeans lead Sylveon? That's tough. I don't want to do, man. I definitely want Buzzwall. Definitely want Buzzwall. I don't know. Go Ninja S. And Ninja just gets the minus one from Intimidates and it just really don't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work with us. Uh, Zygarde or Sylveon? Hmm. Go Zygarde. We're gonna need a bit more heavier attackers on our team. So we're gonna bring out Zygarde here. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough with all these Intimidates out here. And because like, if he has Intimidate, that kind of does drop back my Ninja S. Because then we don't get our full benefit from our Sword Dance. If they Intimidate, we pass on his stats. So if I'm minus two and I bat and pass, then my next Pokemon is minus two. So that's real rough. We go out with Grim Snarl and Gyarados, which is an intimidating Pokemon. So it's a good thing we went into these two. We get the Incineroar rocking out here alongside with the Top of Finny. Alongside with this lovely little Top of Finny. I can fake out. Uh, hmm. I'm to think of what I can do. Intimidate's going to pop from Gary Gary. Gary to Gyarados. And we're going to take a nice little drop. And we also get an Alpha Finny. That's lovely. On two physical attackers. On two of them. Alright. Uh. What do I do here? What should I do? Definitely gotta fake out onto who, though. I'm guessing Gyarados poses that little bit of a bigger threat. The Grimstone could set up some stuff and things. But we can just move by it, so. I'm just gonna move by us onto it. Could also Nature's Madness, but it's gonna be a play. Fake out. Mwah. Give you that Flinchies all day. And Grimstone is going to set up the lovely little light screen. The light screen is gonna come into effect. I wish we had a move that just took out screens. These screens are so good all around. Here goes our Moonblast. Get some nice damage. Light screen definitely neglecting a good amount of it. And we got a huge special attack drop. Even though he's physical attack. But there's that. Uh, could just hard swap. I could hard swap if I want to into Zygarde. But I think I just U-turn out here. And just do a U-turn pivot. Into, I guess, Grimstarl. We could double down the Grimstarl. We could heal pulse. Uh, Nature's Madness could come in here. Nature's Madness could be solid here. I might just Nature's Madness onto the Scarabus. It'll probably do the most damage out of everything, so let's just do that. Let's just do that. We're trying to go into Thunder Wave, and yo, we got Terrain, yo. What's this dude doing? What's this dude doing? We Nature's Madness. Terrain is now gone. And we're going to be able to chip off some nice damage onto him. Scarabus is going to drop a Power Whip, which should be easy to eat for Top of Finny all day. All day. All day, Top of Finny eats that up. And Tyrion's going to pivot, and we're going to swap out. Oh, yo, that's some good damage. It's a crit, that's why. It's a crit, that's why. Let's get it. All right, so we get that swap out here. And I could just go Buzzwall, dude. Buzzwall might be faster than Gyarados. And he has minus one. So I'm going to rock out with him. Try to pick up a KO with him and try to get a Beast Boost. Because that could be spiffy for us. That could be real good for us. That could be real good for us. So I could go into close combat, but Drain Punch is probably our best bet. Actually, Leech Life might be a little bit better for us. Just in case we do get hit, we get some HP back. And we'll be able to take out. Actually, which one will give us more HP? Let me, let me take a peek. Let me take a peek. Hey, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on. I'm clicking a bunch of buttons at once. Leech Life is 80 and Drain Punch is 75. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leech Life definitely gives us a little bit more. So we'll go into that. And do I just Moonblast? Moonblast is probably the player. I would love to heal Pulse, but I think we're fine. 
We're fine. He's gonna wish all the cameras. I can get it now with it. Zassy might fly out here. That's gonna be Incineroar. It's going to be Incineroar, and I still see Leech Life actually taking this one out and neglecting that Intimidate. Which could be great. Which could be dandy. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude's play is. He's gonna go for a Reflect. He's gonna set up. Both his screens are out and about. And he does have Fake Out ready to go for next turn. But I still see Leech Life being able to take it out even though minus one and giving us our attack stat back, right? Yes, sir. All right, so we pick up the KO. Beautiful, lovely, gotta love it. And I think Zacian or actually Gyarados might come back out. You can definitely see Gyarados flying back out here. Moonblast is flying, getting after it. Yeah, send that that way and chipping away. We might Nature's Man or something like that thing. Let's see, Gyarados has to come back out here, right? I might just swap if that's the case. Let me Zacian, and I think I am going to swap. Just straight into a, straight into a Incineroar. I might heal post on the Incineroar. Let's see. Definitely want to stop the Incineroar. Get that Intimidate action going. And I might just Nature's Madness over on this thing. Right? Yeah, just half this thing's health. Try to get an off decent amount of damage on the Zacian. That'd be good for us. That'd be very good for us. Unless he fakes out my top of Finny, but I see him more so going after my Buzz Wool. But a big old Intimidate coming out here on two physical attackers. Bringing the Zacian down to even and bringing the Incineroar down to minus one. Gotta love it. Got to love it. He's gonna witch all the incident. Okay, so he goes into Gyarados. That's fine. I'm with it, because now I have Fake Out on the board. I'm ready to roll with that. Intimidate coming out here. I don't really care for Intimidate to shoot too much, especially on Incineroar, because I'm really not there to attack. Play Rough is gonna fly through here. It's easy eats all day. All day. Trigger our Citrus Berry. Gotta love it. And I think Zacian is going to protect, so I do want to still pose that Fake Out threat onto it after this uh, turn. I still want to go for the Fake Out onto it. And I think I'm going to just move by straight over onto the, uh, the Gyarados. I could fire butts. I could fire butts, but again, I want I want to pose this. Way. I could heal pulse this turn. This turn could be big for a heal pulse. Should get my HP back up, or do I just straight move by? Hmm. Let's. I could swap. Actually, I'd rather fake out onto the Gyarados. I'm gonna read the protect. That just might just post just a little bit of a bigger threat. I could heal pulse out. Oh, let's moon blessing this thing. Let's double down. Zassy might protect here. Let's see what he does. And which all Zassy. Okay, I'm with it. A good little fake out turn by me. He's gonna go back into to the incineral on this slot. I'm with it all day. So nice little switch at the end. I thought he was gonna protect, but a little swap coming out from him, which is all good. I can definitely pivot next turn with a U-turn. Or I can just hard swap. It's really up to me. Whatever I wanna do here. Nice little fake out, shipping onto this thing, and the Moonblast is going to fly. I don't think this is going to be able to pick up KO, but it should be able to chip away, put him pretty close. Nope. Light screen. I got to remember the light screen's out and about. Light screen does me dirty. This thing flinches, and the mist disappears. Uh, so he has fake out ready to roll. I think, do I U-turn out? Or do I hard swap? Because I can definitely just hard swap. Let's see him maybe going into a water move. I'm going to swap that, and I think I might just... uh. Let's just heal pulse here. Nah, cause I think he might fake out. I'm just gonna protect my Finny. I'm just gonna protect my Finny here. We'll play this slow. We'll play this slow. He has two Intimidate Pokemon on the field. The rest of his Pokemon are physical attackers, so I definitely need to keep my Incineroar in check. I definitely need to keep my Incineroar in check. Hence the reason why I'm swapping him out. But yo, this is a good battle. This is a good battle going on here. A great battle going on here. We get the swap. We're gonna go into Zygarde here. I think Zygarde's a good call. I'm gonna swap here. Then he's gonna protect. Hopefully he's faking out onto the finish slot. That'd be really well for us. And he goes for a fake out into the finish slot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's going for a waterfall. Icy one coming out here. Okay, so he is gonna slow, but more importantly, he's gonna proc our policy. This Pokemon that really can't take me out. Especially if I come in with an intimidate, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'll take that speed decrease in order for me to thousand arrows. I'm gonna thousand arrows next turn and hard swap into my Cinnamor on the top of the finish slot. The plays. The plays, baby. The plays. Honestly, yo, I'm loving the bulls, the bus wall on the scene. So nice. Thousand Arrows has to come in here because it hits people in the air. So definitely want to go into that one. And I think we just, like I said, do a hard swap here into Incineroar. Just for the Intimidate. Just for the Intimidate to come out here. And then we can have a fake out next turn. And I think this should be able to take out the Gyarados and potentially the Incineroar. It's super effective onto the Incineroar. And he has no Intimidate on us. It's plus two, so that's big. That is huge. That is huge for me, baby. Let's just see his dude's turn. Let's we'll see his two turn, but yo, we play this one super well, and it's starting to look into our favor at this point. After that icy win, and that weakest policy proc, that's big. That's big news. 
Intimidate comes out, minus one on each side. Get him out of here, yo. Physical attackers don't stand a chance with Incineroar. Waterfall's gonna fly. That's easy eat, yo. That's easy soak up. You gotta flinch, yo. I swear. Ah, man. Man, dude. This game! What you mean? What you mean? Oh my lord, he gets a flinch on a waterfall. Yo, I get I get a flinch on a waterfall maybe once every 10 battles. Like, yo, this dude gets a first try. He's like, well, maybe I get a flinch. Click say. Flinch comes out. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face, yo. We drop another thousand hours. They got fake out Raider Rocks. I ain't gonna even let you get the chance to hit me. I ain't gonna let you get the chance. He's with Charles Gyarados. Bro, now I'm minus one. How do I go from plus two to minus one instantly? Actually, am I? No, I think I'm even now. I think I'm even now, right? Party shot and an intimidate. This game, bro. This game, bro. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. That was an arrow's gonna fly. Gonna get blocked. How much damage can we do onto this instant right now? Bro, just give me a crit. Give, give me some. Redonkulous. Redonkulous, man. I have to protect. And I'm going to hard swap. Hard swap him right back into that top of Finny. Hard swap him right back into that top of Finny. you kidding me, man? Trains are starting to wear down, bro, dude. Are you, how we flinch on a turn that we... Bruh! On a turn that we didn't... Like, we just couldn't flinch on. That was like our winning turn right there. And he hits us with a lucky waterfall, bro. Lucky waterfall flinch. Lord, he, he withdraws Incineroar. We withdraw our Incineroar. He's gonna send out Gary Gyarados here. We have to get rid of our Zygarde. I'm gonna swap my Zygarde back into our Intimidate Incineroar. Oh my lord. It's an absolute mess. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. This is just a mess. The so Finny's gonna get out here. We're getting our Surge back out and about. Um, What do I do from here? <laughs> I can't do this, man. I think this Gyarados is a soul mess, though. Really do. Here comes our protect. Game's nutty. Game is nutty. Game is way fine through here. Thank you. You going into that protect. Okay. We swap into Insta. And then in this case, I could heal pulse onto my Insta. But the play would be to just start slowly chipping away on this guy. So we have to just start slowly chipping away on the Pokemon. So we get the swap. Oh. My. Oh my lord. Is he gonna swap as well? He might swap Incineroar. I can definitely see that happening. Hit me flying through here. He'll fake out Raider Roll next turn. He does not swap. He's just gonna go straight into a Behemoth Blade. Eat this up, yo. Tasty snack. Tasty little snack here. Tasty stuff of snacks, Finny. Tasty. All day. All day, Tapu Finny. Gotta love it. And we have our Berry. Berry coming in clutch. Alright. We get that rolling. And how's this one gonna go? Gonna go. Moonblast's gonna fly through. Chipping away onto this thing. I'm telling you, this thing must be a soul fast. Power up is gonna fly through here. We might be able to eat that up. No, we do not. Was that a crit? That seemed like a crit for some reason. No, it was not. Okay, so he just picks up the KO. I'm cool with that. That thing is low on HP. Reflect finally wears off. I can bring out Bus Wool. Is Bus Wool the player or is Zygarde the player? I think Zygarde may be going into a protect this play. Actually, no. Um, might swap. You know the bus wall for close combat? Hmm. Let me go into this. Let me go into Zygarde here. I think Zygarde with a thousand arrows is definitely gonna play. Get a fake out onto you. And then we just thousand arrows. Gotta be our play, right? Just swap to Incineroar, right? With the Gyarados. We are going to be able to slowly chip away. Look what this dude's play is. It's got to it's gotta be the swap, right? And which all the Zacian? Okay. And which all the Zacian? I think Zygarde might go down speed. So there's that. And they can come out here. And this Thousand Arrow should 100% be able to take out the, you know, what's calling the problem. Gyarados. Let's see how this one plays out. They got coming out here. Slowly chipping away. I think we're going to trigger Barry here. Since we're not going to Barry. It is not. It is not. Thousand arrows fly through here. There's a KO on the Gyarados. We bring this thing down to the low. 
Oh my lord. What a battle so far. What a battle. We need to swap out Incineroar, I think, one more time. We need to swap out Incineroar one more time. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. So Zacian's coming out on the field. And I think I need to protect and swap. Because we, we definitely need this attack shot. Definitely need this attack shot. It's a big play. It's a big play. And a Fake Out could come out later, which could be big. So we're going to swap it to a Buzz Wolf. But what a battle here. What a battle. And I'm just, I'm just going to protect our Zygarde. Zygarde needs to be protected. And I'm hoping he's faking out and doubling. Yeah, I would I would love for him to double down into my Zygarde. But chances are, I think he's going after my Incineroar. But even if my Bust Wolf does go down here, I still, I'm still with it. I'm still with it because that Incineroar is, is very important. Very, very important. Yeah. That coming out from the guard. Show it to me. Yo, hit up on my legendary Pokemon. Player off coming through here. Let's go! Let's go. And a fake out is not rolling here. He's gonna go for a parting shot. We get a block. Yo, double we doubled down. He doubled down. That's huge for us. Okay. So with all that going on here. I think we just hit this thing up. Right? And I think we just thousand damage. Does it doesn't matter which one it does. I think they both are the same. Yeah, they're both the same. The one's other the other one's just for flying. So, that's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. Huge, huge turn for us. He doesn't have fake out. He can he can protect, and he probably is going to take out one of my Pokemon here with a player off. But we're going to go one for one. That's how this turn's going to fly out here. We're going to go one for one, hands down. The player off is going to fly through here. That's going to say bye-bye, Zygarde. But there goes Zygarde, goes down. Buzzwolf should be able to outspeed the Incineroar. Inci or Buzzwolf should be able to pick up the KO and get plus one. Right, easy all day. Love it. All right, so there's that KO here, and he's gonna protect this turn. He's definitely protecting, but here's the problem. Now he, he has no double hitting moves. He has no double hitting moves. So he either gets faked out, my Buzz Wolf takes him out in one shot, or he takes out one of my Pokemon and takes either a Flare Blitz or a Heavy Plus one shot from a Buzz Wolf. It's up to him. It is up to him. So yo, we played this one so well. We played this one so well. Even though we got he got that flinch on us, kind of set us back. We were able to start digging us, ourselves out of this hole and maybe hopefully picking up this win, dude. Let's go. Close combat is definitely a call. Enough for a call. Plus one on it and just fake out. Hands down. I feel like either of these moves should be able to take out. But he's going to protect. He's going to protect. It's all that coming. Uh, and then, like I said, he protects here. Now we're just going to. He's either taking a close combat or a blitz. Whichever he wants. Plus one close combat. Stab, baby. Plus one is so good. I don't know why people don't use him more. I don't know why people don't use him more. He absolutely rips. He is even. He's not plus one anymore, which is great. Now, who's he going to take out? That's that's the real question. Who is he going to attempt to take out here? That is the real question. He doesn't have Reflect Up anymore. So he goes for the play rough into Plus Wolf. Plus Wolf goes down. And again, I think this Flare Blitz is... He gets a crit. That's that's rough. I, I think this Flare Blitz picks up the win, right? Please, please let me pick up the win with this. Flare Blitz comes through. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, man. Get after him. Thank you. Thank you, yo. What a third and final battle. GG's winning record for today's video and absolutely dominated and fell in love with this team. I love this team so much. Out of all the off-meta teams that I've been using recently, this one is definitely my favorite. I love it so much. It is so easy to set up with a Ninjas and a Zygarde combo. And then having Buzzwolf in the back is just amazing. Very underrated Pokemon, and I think he's really, really strong. He hits hard, he has decent bulkiness, and he's just all-around great for swapping in and doing big damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.